Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. We are doing another Qigong video so you can keep caring for yourselves and balancing your energy. This one is focused more on the eyes. We say that the eye reflects the spirit and so the spirit is, ties into joyfulness and expression and the eye also, there's so many people I've been seeing with all the weather changes who are being getting headaches or seasonal allergies, neck pain, kind of tightness. And connecting with the eye actually is a great way of kind of clearing space in the head, the neck, the shoulders, helping with headaches. Uh, some of this is actually good for vision. And the person that I studied with, Sharkey Lu, his eyes were amazing. His peripheral vision was kind of uh, just beyond normal, so far beyond normal. People could stand kind of off to the side and behind him and hold up fingers and he could see them. So it's a good way if you, if you want to get there. <laughs> it's a good way of developing those skills. And it's also just good for overall health. So in the summer as it gets warmer, there's more heat. And this is, we're gonna start with just a breathing exercise. It's good for the eyes, but it's also good for kind of clearing heat out of the body and helping remove toxins and just cleansing ourselves. So. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. And our tongue is relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Just really soft, quiet breaths. And breathe in through your nose and breathe out through the mouth. And just be aware of your spine. I'm gonna do this whole video sitting. So it's an easy, this video is an easy thing to do sitting. Just keep breathing easily in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And your breath should almost, you should, be able to hear it even. It's just easy, free, soft. With your eyes, just kind of look ahead, but allow your peripheral vision to engage. So there's this space in our nervous system that we can connect with. If you step out of a car, the edge of a mountain, and, and you see that kind of vista, you see everything kind of out in front of you and your brain just kind of relaxes. So we're looking at the vista of our room, of our life, just this kind of big space and letting our eye kind of settle into this. And we breathe in, we breathe out, and I've got my hands just palm up, kind of allows that release to happen more easily. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're connecting into this space and letting our eyes soften, our shoulders soften, and now, Instead of thinking that we're looking, if you want to for a second, actually pick something and focus on it and see how that feels for your eye. And then actually go back to that kind of peripheral awareness, go back to seeing the room and allow your perception of your eye to move from actually just the eye itself, but all the way through to the back of the head where the optic nerve comes out to so this occipital space. There's so many points there that tie into the eye and into vision. And so allowing your eye to connect into that space and hold that connection. So instead of thinking I'm looking through my eyes here, think I'm looking from back here, from the back of my head, from the back of my neck. I'm letting my neck open into that space. And keep breathing. And now allow your connection into your heart to, to grow. And so the heart manifests through the eye. There's other things that do too, but the joy of the heart manifests in the eye. And the point for the heart is actually in the, uh, right around your stomach. <laughs> Chinese were very smart. <laughs> they knew that the heart, the joyfulness of the heart kind of ties into the stomach anyway. So allow your breath to kind of move through this part of your stomach and think about softening that and allow there to be almost a line between the eye, and the back of the head and the heart, just kind of this connection as you breathe in energy rises and energy falls. Now we're going to follow our hands. So we're going to inhale. We're going to breathe our hands up and just watch your hands as they fall back down. This You want to keep your shoulders soft, your arms soft. So inhale and exhale. Just kind of like a wave in the ocean. Inhale and exhale. And just keep following your hands. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna open, as long as it's okay with your shoulders, actually open to the edge of your peripheral space, to the edge of what you can see, and then close. And then open, feel your chest open, feel your neck relax, and exhale. And this motion is actually, it's really good for the neck. You're giving space to your shoulders, inhale. 
space for your neck and just watch your hands softly and then exhale down and breathe. Again, we're breathing in through our nose and out through the mouth and it's just releasing. We're letting go of all the toxins, all the heat, all the stuff our body doesn't want and clearing space in our body. And we're thinking about softening more and more into this kind of occipital space. A lot of the occipital nerves actually calm the nervous system. They slow the heart rate, help with breathing. So we're seeing the room, but not focusing. And this is, it's good for our nervous system. It's good for our vision. And you should hopefully feel a little more softness in the back of the neck with that. That's good. That's all. It's a nice short video to play with your eyes and your breathing. And it's a good way to clear heat out for the summer and also kind of help with some of the weather changes that we get. So hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all well. Take care.